Okay. As the current crop of game journalists gets swapped out for newer and younger talent, it would be natural to assume that how far back their frame of reference is would be less than the incumbents. I don't like this. All this whole like hmm. replacing and all this stuff is real savage. <laughs> While many of today's gaming journalists started gaming during the NES era era or earlier, do you think that moving forward we will see an increased emphasis on gaming news sites hiring people who have purposefully gone back to learn about games that are from earlier eras? No, we're just going to have a lot more people that like Pokemon, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I think if people are that invested in games to want to make a career out of it, you'd, you know, do the legwork to do that, you yeah, know? Yeah, probably. I but born. I also think you don't have to. I mean, like it's one it's of not necessary, where... but I think it adds context to things. Yeah. And, you know, like I was born in 84, and I've spent plenty of time playing Space Invaders and Asteroids mm-hmm. and Centipede and stuff like that. Like, I think it's important. And we teach them. We bring them home. It's like, okay, we're going to fucking play Resident Evil this weekend. Fuck that. That's happened sometimes. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. Why would you subject them to that garbage? (laughs) Well, they need to learn. All right. They need to know that this is shit. I I think it's one of those things that, like, that's, I feel like it's come up a lot uh, over the years. Is, yeah, like, are those old games actually that important? Like, there's something, I feel like there are, there's information to be gleaned from Superman for the Atari 2600, but the only real information that's relevant today is, like, well, that game was shit, just like all the other Superman games. (laughs) Uh, so it's, it's, yeah, like a lot of that stuff, like you could pick out handfuls of like individual games over the years that are, that are actually probably still important in a Mm -hmm. historical sense. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like, do you need to know them to do this job? No, but I think, I don't think so. Again, those people that are that invested would probably just want to, you know, like, well, also it's, 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 it's now become easier and way less frowned upon to just straight up download all that shit and emulate it. Right. Right. You know, uh, which is like a weird turn of events, like stuff that would seem unthinkable is now like t- Twitch plays Pokemon. Right, like, right. Oh, okay. So you're just going to stream and emulate. Okay. All right. No, I guess, I guess no one really cares about that stuff anymore. Great. That's awesome because yeah. it, it makes a lot of stuff a lot way easier. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I think that like old games are accessible in a way, as long as you're willing to jump through those hoops, accessible in a way that like they've never been. Before. Yeah, and like if someone's a film buff, you know, you're watching movies from, you know, decades before you were born. I don't yeah. see why, you know, if you're a huge gamer, like why would that be different? I guess. I don't know. Like I just, at some point, it's like I don't know that I need like someone showing up who's like going to just drop references to random right old NES games because they can. But then you sound of- dumb if you don't know. You know, like, but you sound dumb to an, an audience that is increasingly oh, aging. Also and, you know, it's know like that. the yeah. the audience. I mean, the vast majority of the audience that I think we have now doesn't know about any of that stuff. Yeah, so it's. Like, I don't. Know, I'm thinking about you know. I've talked to people who thought that Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts was the first Banjo Kazooie game. It's the first one that mattered. Right, <laughs> uh, it but is. it's like this. You know, yeah. you're working yeah. in an industry and you're saying things that are just ridiculously wrong. Like. That doesn't look great. Yeah, no. So. It's a, yeah. I mean, the factual end of it, absolutely. You know, people yeah. need to look that shit up. Uh, and and know that sort of stuff for sure. Uh, yeah. But in terms of just like, do you need to know what the original Banjo Kazooie played like to be able to do this job? Yeah. Like, no. But again, I think I don't know. I mean, you like playing? Well, I mean, you kind of grew up with yeah, early so, video like, games I, and stuff. You know, I'm in this weird like area of like, yeah. I mean, I you know was born around the same time as commercial video games. Yeah. Yeah. So but I don't know. I, I just know a lot of people are like me where it's like, you know, like when emulators got big or whatever, I remember in college just going back, like I grew up with the NES, but mm-hmm. the big Mega Mans and punch outs and all that stuff. Yeah. And like, I wanted to play all these obscure things and check them out and go back and, and go yeah. back further than that. And I know a lot of people that are really into games that do the same thing. Totally. Just, just yeah. the same way film buffs want to watch Casablanca. Whatever, I bet, you know, you know? And, and you think about like the, the games that are getting speed run and all this other mm-hmm. stuff. It's like, you've got kids that are like, you know, impossibly young to have cared about that stuff originally. Oh yeah. Like 17 year olds, you know, competing to see who can beat super metroid the fastest you know sure, stuff like yeah. that or even further back you know oh, it's yeah, like course, weird yeah. just like japan only crazy shit and and trying yeah. to speed run it and all this other stuff like you know there's definitely an interest in that stuff that wasn't there mm-hmm. before and i think a lot of that is because that stuff is is like three clicks away and, and that's heartening though you know it is like i it's, like that that, that, that appreciation it, is there like something like mario maker can can be a big thing now right it's totally based on these games that are like 25 whatever years yeah old. and it's this weird thing where it's like yes technically all of that is like gray area legality at best uh but everyone involved just seems to look the other way now i was talking about this morning like it was it it happened like i've been thinking about it in the wake of star wars coming out 
and just all these people just brazenly saying like, thanks guys, I just downloaded the despecialized edition. Of course I'm watching those ones. Naturally I'm going to watch those. And like being smarmy about it, but that's but at the same time they're basically saying like, yeah, I went downloaded this bootleg fucking copy of Star Wars and I'm watching that. Yeah, fuck you, Disney. <laughs> like, I it's weird. It's weird that that is something that people just feel totally comfortable just like reporting publicly. Yeah, and then and and then like I thought about it in terms of like Twitch and the number of games that are streamed on Twitch that are r- coming out of emulators and all that other right. stuff, and, and, and Twitch plays Pokemon. You know, it's like, there used to be, Nintendo used to send, send out press releases about, like, the fucking Pokemon hosting ROM sites they were shutting down. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know? And they'd be like, we shut down 20 more sites devoted to bootleg Pokemon cartridges. And, like, generally they were focused on the, the stuff that was actually, like, producing physical cartridges. Right. Uh, that was the stuff they mainly wanted to stop. But it would still be like, you know, hey, this is People were letting people download Alleyway for the Game Boy, and we said, fuck that. We shut them down. And now, you know, you have Twitch talking about, like, how big Twitch Plays Pokemon was for them and their business and all this stuff. And it's just yeah. like, well. Like this giant company owned by Amazon talking about, like, this yeah. thing that's emulated, making yeah, the money. it's weird. And, and I guess it's just one of those things that, like, you know, the, the world changes, and, and, and that sort of stuff is is far more acceptable than it, than it ever has been. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's great in, in a way. It's weird because it's like, you know, technically, especially in an era where everyone just wants to resell the same old games to you over and over again, like it's directly oh, yeah. at odds with this stuff being yeah. available. But like the cat is out of the bag. You can go to fucking archive.org and fucking download full sets of, you know, Nintendo platform yeah. ROM sets and stuff. You know, it's like archive.org is like a legitimate thing. It's not just like fucking shady's fucking pokemon rom palace dot net slash geo cities party time it's you know <laughs> it's like hey it's not like hey the url changes every week it's like hey no you need to see this torrent before you can download yeah. these main roms it's like no just fucking they're everywhere they're fucking everywhere uh and it's kind of awesome <laughs> from a like a like spreading the knowledge about video games perspective yeah uh even if some parts of the business end of that are super crazy. Yeah. But it's definitely like, you know, I think that's affected like my like desire to like collect games as, yeah. especially as I run out of room. Yeah. Or like, or, or, or like play the games I have even it's this thing of like, you know, like I, I plugged in my retron and dumped all my carts. It would have been faster to download them. Sure. But as like, yeah. I bought this thing, I'm like, this is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Like I'm dumping this, I'm getting my save data. Like, you know, there's like, it was something cool about doing it. Um, and like, I, you know, I don't need to pull those games out ever again. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, 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 so at some point it's like, well, then why do I have them? And the answer is because that keeps it legal, baby. But <laughs> it's, but really what, like who's, you know, this is crazy. I should get rid of all that stuff. Yeah. I should, I should take all those video games and pour them in, and throw them in the no, creek No, no, because they're just everywhere. Yes. That copy of Mark of the Wolves yeah. that I paid $1,100 for. Yeah. Why do I have it? You could just buy it in the humble bundle right now. Yeah, and that's yeah. just that's just a rom that's a rom set. Even yep. you can pull out of that and use in Mame or something else. Yeah, like it's crazy. The world is nuts. I'll take it if you don't. Want no, it. I want it. Okay. It's awesome. Right. Also, I saw a copy of it going on eBay for slightly more than I paid recently. <sighs> Damn. It seems like maybe the market finally recovered to a point <laughs> where, of course, I didn't see anyone <laughs> actually paying stuff. that price for it, but but hey. <laughs> 